Good morning, I'm Tom and welcome to Ledgemere. This morning I want to go over giving medications to sheep or ovines and I've got several medications I'm going to administer this morning and I'll go over each of them before we give them out. Um, the first thing I'm going to do this morning is give my lamb who just was castrated uh, a shot of XNL subcutaneously. So XNL is an anti-inflammatory and also an antibiotic used post-op. Um, so we're going to give this subcutaneously this morning. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to give our sheep a, a tablet, a, basically a pain med. And there's several ways you can do this. And so depending upon how easily your sheep is for handling will determine the method that you use to administer this one. The third thing I'm going to administer this morning is some alum spray. Uh, I'm going to put this on the incision site. Now, when a, when a sheep is castrated surgically, they leave the wound site open. And the reason for that is so that it can drain. In post-operative for uh, a castration, you're going to want to separate that lamb from the flock. You don't want them out there jumping and hopping around and playing and having a good time because that will um, give the opportunity for that incision site to, to open and cause damage. So you've got... Henry pretty much sequestered here in the barn, um, but we're going to treat that with some alum spray this morning. Pardon the bells in the background, the cows are out there having breakfast, um, so that's where they are. And the last thing I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to give some amperid to him. Um, so we're going to talk about coccidia in another video, but I'm going to give him his second series of amperid for coccidia, so that's going to be next. It's going to be his anti-inflammatory um, antibiotic and so we're going to give this in the front area and the reason we do this is because if you inject in the rump um, sometimes that will end up destroying the quarter and so you end up losing meat. Well Henry's going to be a, fr a, a pet so it really doesn't really matter with him but just for sake of argument we're going to do this correctly and, and we'll do it in the right spot. So I'm going to grab him and then we're gonna we're gonna give this shot to him. Now, depending upon the, the ease of handling that sheep, sometimes you're gonna need a, another person. Sometimes you're gonna need some kind of device to restrain that that animal. For a small farm, small homestead, where you have ten or so sheep, typically speaking, they're gonna be reasonably tame, um, as is with the case with Henry. But I do have some that are a little bit more wild. But anyway. Um, just keep in mind that it might not go as easily as this is going to happen. So when you give give an injection, you're going to want to pinch an area and form like a tent with with the with the flesh. Now you you pitch a tent. You just make like an A with it, and you stick that needle sideways through the tent. So you just in the flesh, you're in the and then you so you poke. You'll feel the resistance when it goes in. And then administer the shot. Done deal. Then you just kind of rub it out a little bit. And so it's just simple as that. Now the second thing we're going to administer is um, a pain med. And unfortunately for, for sheep, they're not like dog chews where they're going to be tasty. Henry, come here. Come here. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, so I've got the tablet here, and I'm just going to open his mouth and shove it down his throat and, and hold his head up until he swallows it. An alternative method is to take two spoons, crush the pill together into a powder, and then put it in like their milk or some other thing that they're going to eat. So real simple, put it in his mouth, hold them up, and it's gone. All right, now the third thing, we use this aloe spray, and it's, it's a little pricey. Um, in the old days, we used to use blue coat, but blue coat actually stains the carcass also. And again, Henry's a pet. Um, long story why he's a pet, but Henry's a pet, and so it would be okay. Um, but again, for sake of argument, we're gonna show you the correct way. So this aloe spray is what's recommended by veterinarians. Um, these days. Henry, come on. Come here. Come here. 
So the reason Henry was castrated by the veterinarian instead of myself was uh, his testicles didn't drop, so uh, surgically that had to be done. And Henry's mother passed giving birth to him, and my son ended up giving Henry mouth to mouth. And you can see where the alum spray was before. So we're just going to spray the crap out of that with this. And that's done. This stuff, I, I get it on Amazon. It's definitely not cheap. It's about 30 bucks, but it lasts a long time. So it's just one of those things. Lambs are subject to coccidia or coccidiosis. Uh, upon weaning and that's typically when you'll find lambs come down with coccidia so that's what happened to Henry and I took his stool into the the vet and they analyzed that it was 14,000 uh, I did a, a series of amperid it's done a 1400 and under the vet's advice we're going to do another five day series so this is one of those times where you know you all say I'll never use algebra well you got to use algebra to figure out the dosage on this so I figured out for his weight, that three cc's is what he's gonna need. So, I'm just gonna take this right here, dip it in, pull it out, and then go back down to three. So, again, I believe I got this on, on Amazon, but if you're going to be a, um, a herdsman, you have to have, or a shepherd, you have to have one of these. So, next thing Henry gets you want to hold their head up, push this back to the end of their mouth, and squeeze it until it's out, and then keep their head tilted back until it's all gone, and then that's done. He's had everything. It's bottle time. So he's a little bit old for a bottle, but because of the coccidia, he lost some weight. And so we just got him another bag of, of milk. And this is where he's at. But I hope this has been helpful to you. And I would love it if you'd take a minute and subscribe to the channel. And then thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.